Hello and welcome to my App Air Tips videos. In this episode, I'd like to talk a little bit about a new feature that we have on our creep functionality. What that allows you, the operator, to do is actually dial in so that the machine travel speed is matched properly for your tool. So let's hop up and take a look real quick. Let's go ahead and get ourselves comfortable. Again, we want to make sure that we put that seat belt on because as a friendly reminder with these M-Series machines, if you don't, the machine will remind you when you put it into gear. All right, so now with that, let's go ahead and jump into the secondary display and let's take a look at these features. Okay, so now let's take a look at that creep feature we were discussing. Let's go ahead and press OK for our rear object detection system. So again, to enable that creep setting, you can either go through the menu by pressing the machine or you can do a two second press and hold on the number one speed range as a quick little shortcut in order to bring up that creep setting. So as you can see, now we have improved that. If you saw or used this feature in the past, there was 13 settings to where you could increment left or right based on the speed that was needed for the tool that you were utilizing. This one's actually set to zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to high idle, raise my bucket off the ground here release my park brake, and then I'm gonna go ahead and shift into gear. So even though I'm in gear and I have my creep active, as you can see with this enhancement, you truly get a creep functionality. So for those that are using tools such as cold planers or asphalt saws, uh, this may be another feature so that you can prevent from overloading that work tool and keep that tool working at an optimum setting. Now, if you need to change or increase the speed, you can actually adjust on the fly by going ahead and increasing those increments. So as you can see, I can continue to dial this up and the machine will continue to accelerate on the go based on what I need to feed into my tool or how much pressure I want my tool to exert. And then also if I need to, I can actually slow it down on the fly to where I can go back to that lowest setting to where the machine is literally inching forward. So that again, you can maximize the machine performance to the setting with that set up and the throttle lock set up and continuous flow, really the only thing the operator has to do is sit here and just make sure that the machine is steering properly. And if they need to stop the machine or do anything, they can take action, but very easy and comfortable for the machine and the operator to run this way all day long. For more information on these features or others, please visit your local cat dealer. Thank you and have a good day.